Welcome to Mason Library's tutorial, Zotero Part 3, Adding Sources. In this tutorial, you will learn how to add sources to your Zotero library. Zotero is designed to work well with library online catalogs, databases, and any website that includes descriptive metadata like YouTube and Amazon. Zotero reads the metadata of potential research sources and grabs it to create a record once you select an item or items from the page you are on. You can use Zotero for websites like the Washington Post or the New York Times. But since these sites don't include a lot of descriptive metadata, you will need to manually complete records for items like these. We'll touch on that a bit later. To begin, you must first open the Zotero desktop client in order to add items to your library. Zotero works in the background while you do the research. After you downloaded the Zotero browser connector, you'll notice that you have an icon in the menu bar of your browser. This is the button you will use to add sources as you search online. Let's try it out. Using Mason Search, I'm going to look for information on sustainable housing. Notice how the icon in the menu bar has changed to a folder. That's Zotero recognizing everything on the first page of the results. Let's click on the folder. Using the folder icon is helpful if you want to add multiple items at once and then return to the items to look at later. You can choose to select everything for your Zotero library or select a few items. Zotero will add these sources to the last collections you used, but you can change this in the pop-up. Now we have items in our main library and in the project collection. Most likely, you will use Zotero to add items one at a time. Zotero works best when you open the item in full text, so where you're going to open this journal article. You'll see here that the icon has changed to a document. For some sources, Zotero will also download the PDF from the website. Other icons include a newspaper, a book, and a camera for videos. There are other ways to add items to your Zotero library. For example, if you want to cite information from text you use in class, you can enter ISBNs, Digital Object Identifiers or DOIs, and more. This tool is especially helpful if you have to cite a physical item that you have. Often you can locate the ISBN near the barcode of the book. Here I'm going to use the wand tool to add the book Creating Kohal. You can also add items manually. This is helpful if you are working with primary research or your own research. Select the green plus symbol icon. Zotero will ask what type of item you want to enter. Here, I'm going to select interview because I'm going to enter the information I need to cite on a sustainable housing expert I interviewed myself. Be sure to include as much information you need to meet your citation styles requirements. Speaking of citation style awareness, it's important to remember that Zotero works only as well as the data it stores. For example, if an article title is in all capital letters in the database, it will also be in capital case in Zotero. If you need to change the item from capital case to sentence case because of your citation style, you can right click on the title in the info field and make the change. Try to fix mistakes when you're adding the resources if you can. If not, they can be fixed at any point, even when your paper is finished. We'll go over that in another video. Finally, you can also add PDFs that are optimized for screen readers into your Zotero library and have the metadata populated into the fields. Simply click and drag a PDF from your desktop into your main library. In this video, you learned how to add items to your Zotero library. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have other questions, please refer to our ever-expanding How Do I page or use our Ask a Librarian service.